I don't need any politician or any person's permission to institute a prosecution against anyone. But former ANC Treasurer General Matthews Poza isn't buying it. The day before he charges Pravin, he appears at Lutula House to do what? I don't buy the stories of the fees must fall. I don't think anyone in South Africa should buy that hogwash. He's not a fit and proper person to hold that office. And we have written a letter to the president asking him to investigate him. And we're serious about it. And I also wrote a letter to um, the bar council to do the same. Poser, like the EFF, wants the general bar council to strike him from the role of advocates. Once it's been determined by the bar that uh, the person is unfit and improper, then it will be up to the bar to bring an application to the High Court, either for the suspension of the person, depending on the gravity of the infraction, or for the person to be struck off the role. The final decision has to be made by the High Court, and the process could take more than a year to complete. Meanwhile, Freedom Under Law and the Helen Sussman Foundation are going to court asking for an order that President Jacob Zuma act rationally and suspend Sean Abrams pending an inquiry. This can be done for reasons of serious misconduct or if the NDPP is no longer regarded as a fit and proper person. But ultimately the matter will have to be referred to Parliament for a decision to be made. The Democratic Alliance also wants President Jacob Zuma to suspend Abrams pending an inquiry. Failing that, the party says it will make use of parliamentary mechanisms to remove him from office. We await action from the President in this regard. However, should he not take heed of our call, the DA will not hesitate, hesitate to make use of the parliamentary mechanism available to us. That is having a motion passed in both the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces in the same sitting requesting the suspension of Sean Abrams. This, according to the NPA Act, would force the removal of Sean Abrams. The party also wants to introduce legislation that will see the Director of Public Prosecutions being appointed by Parliament and not the President, much like the Public Protector. Anna Kalasen, Cape Town.